this last question is not easy at all but we can solve it together welcome back to my channel today we have an amazing geometry question to solve the only information given to us is that the area of this square this is a square is four okay so that is the only information that we have so we are going to work with that now remember that area of a square is length squared okay so if the area of the square is four so we have four is equal to length squared so if we take square root of both sides we will have the square root of four which is two is equal to our length so it means that this is two this is two all of them are the same okay they are all the same thing. This is equal to this and this is equal to this. And this is not drawn to scale, please. So that is the first thing we need to write. Then, what else can we do with this limited information that we have? Now, the question says we should find the area of this particular triangle. Okay? Now, area of a triangle is half base times height. Now, the height of this triangle is this. Let's name it triangle A, B, C, um, D, E, this place is F. Okay? All right. Now, if we look at this, let us drop a height, okay, from here. So if we do that, that means this is 90 degrees, right? Yeah. Now, let us reproduce this particular triangle. Let's call this meeting point. This meeting point, E, F, G, H, let's call it H. Okay? Now, that's H. Let us repro reproduce B, H, F. My mark car is, my ink is overflowing. So, let me clean that and write it again. But that is H. Okay? All right. So, let me write it again. Ah, we are going to manage it. The ink is overflowing. All right. So, this is H and this is F. Okay, so let's draw an identical triangle to triangle BHF. So if we do that, we are going to have this and this. Now, having done that, we know that the diagonal of this particular square, BHOF, let's call this O, BHOF, okay, the diagonal is BF. And remember that the diagonal of a square is what s root 2 where s is the side of the of the square so it means that you note that from here to here is 2 right and from here to here is 2 so it implies that bf is equal to 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 so the length from here to here is 4 all right now and this 4 is our diagonal so from here the diagonal is 4. So we can write 4 is equal to side root 2. We need to get the side of this particular new square. Okay? So um, divide both sides by root 2. So 4 divided by root 2 is equal to S root 2 over root 2. So we have that the side is equal to 4 over root 2. Let's rationalize. Multiplied by root 2, divided by root 2. Okay? So it means that the side is 4 root 2, divided by 2. So the side is 2 root 2. Okay? So it means that the side is 2 root 2. So here is 2 root 2. Now, I want you people to look at this. I want to clean this because I don't want to be, I don't want the diagram to be somehow crowded with drawings and write-ups okay that's why i'm playing it and i'm done with it i'm no longer using it now remember that this is a square okay so this place is 90 degrees and the line fd cuts this 90 degrees into two so it means that from here to here is 45 degrees right and because bf is parallel to cd then definitely here is 45 degrees and if that is true that means here is 45 as well because this is 90 degrees okay so what does that mean 
that simply means that i told you that this is a tough one okay this is actually a tough one but we can get to it together okay now it simply means that triangle h b f triangle h b f this is 90 degrees this is 45 and this is 45 it means that this is what a right angled isosceles triangle all right and if that is the case that means that this side and this side are equal just like every other isosceles triangle now we have gotten hf to be 2 root 2 so it simply means that bh is also 2 root 2 okay so permit me to write 2 root 2 here as well all right now let us talk about a theorem very very important but before that remember that this is a square okay and fd is a diagonal of a square fd is what diagonal and the diagonal of a square is side root two okay so it means that fd being a diagonal is equal to now the side of this square is two so it's going to be two root two so from here to here is two root two all right now let us talk about a theorem that is actually going to help us to get the value of our the area of this particular triangle okay all right now look at this there is a theorem that states that if the height if the height of a right angle triangle is drawn from what the vertex of the right angle okay when the height is drawn from the vertex of the right triangle it divides the right triangle into two similar right triangles so what this means is that if this is a b c and d this particular theorem is saying that for the fact that this height is drawn from here okay that b d c is similar to a b d okay all right so that is just it this triangle is similar to this triangle so we're going to apply that here all right now let us go ahead and do that so looking at what we have here it simply means that triangle hbd is similar to triangle a or hab anyone the two triangles are similar all right now let us draw them out let us draw hbd out so it is in this form So this is H, a right angled. This is B, and this is D. Okay. Now, BD, we are yet to calculate our BD, which is very easy to calculate here. But for now, let's just draw the two similar triangles. Then we are going to calculate BD using the Pythagorean theorem. All right. So, but HD is 2 root 2 plus 2 root 2, which will give us 4 root 2. Okay. So here is 4 root 2 and our bh is 2 root 2 so here is 2 root 2 now if we draw the other triangle but remember that let us draw it to look similar to this so we are going to turn the triangle and our ha is going to be this way so that this will point here so if we do that we are going to have something like this whereby this part is our ha okay this h therefore this is a and um, this is b okay so let's label you can see that bh is 2 root 2 okay bh is 2 root 2 and that is all we have for this particular triangle but before then let us calculate bd very easy now if this is the first time you have seen this lovely channel please click the subscription button turn your notification bell so i don't miss our amazing videos please give us a thumbs up like 
we put a lot of effort in order to bring these videos to you okay so the least you could do is just give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying it don't just watch and go without leaving a comment and a thumbs up for us okay that means a lot to us thank you very much and if you are those that give us super thanks god bless you so much trading guy i'm really grateful mclean come i'm very grateful and so many others thank you god bless you all right now back to what we are doing if you look at this like i said let's calculate bd which is very easy so in triangle b c d so let's draw triangle b c d so this is b this is c this is d okay b c d okay so this is right angle now bc is 2 cd is 2 plus 2 plus 2 which is 6 so using the pythagorean theorem we can get our b okay so let's do that bd squared is equal to 2 squared plus 6 squared okay so bd squared is equal to 4 plus 36 so bd squared is equal to 40. So it means that BD is what? Square root of 40, right? So we can replace here with square root of 40. All right. Now let's clean that and maybe simplify root 40 further because 40 is sent as 4 times 10, which can give us 2 root 10. Okay? So I think it's better we write it as 2 root 10. So Root 40 is same thing as 2 root 10. All right. Now, we can go ahead and solve this. Now, since these two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Since the two triangles are similar, the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. Now, let us find the, uh, the ratio first to see. Since we have this and this, so 4 root 2 hd over hb should be equal to 4 root 2 over 2 root 2 okay now root 2 we divide itself so we have that this is equal to 2 now what this is telling us is that this triangle is twice the size of this okay so the length the length of this is twice the length of that so if i want to get a particular length from here here i'm going to multiply i'm going to divide this by two to get the corresponding length on this smaller triangle so what we now do is i need a b okay i need a b because that is the height of my triangle triangle a b d that we are looking for so a b is going to be equal to 2 root 2, 2 root 10 divided by 2. So it simply means that AB is square root of 10. Now, we write this root 10. Let us go ahead and get what we are looking for. Now, finally, the area of this particular triangle, okay, the area is half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So the area is half. Now the base is BD, right? BD. And we got BD as two, uh, that is root 40, root 40, that is 2 root 10. So multiplied by 2 root 10, then multiplied by the height. The height is this root 10, right? Root 10. So 2 we divide 2. We have area is square root of 10 multiplied by square root of 10 all right and you know that square root of x multiplied by square root of x is equal to x yes so it means that this is equal to 10 units squared as easy as that then we are going to solve this again using another method so i would like you to watch out for the second method on a different video okay thanks so much for watching see you in my next video